This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash world record today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash world record. World record! Record! <laughs> you got some good moves. World record! Black and Decker! Black and Decker! Hold on, wait, ready? Let's do it. <laughs> hey, mine's doing the. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Black World and Decker! Decker. Here's Shell Lizzie. There she goes. <laughs> Pecker Record. Record. Now is that? Black and Decker Pecker Record. <laughs> is that? Now I wonder if that'll get us flagged on YouTube. Hey, folks, this is a new episode of the World Record Podcast. We have Liz Cooperman. <laughs> she just came in. She's all frazzled. And also, before we get started, I want to let you know, if you want to win two tickets to see the band Ween at the Greek Theater in Los Angeles, California on July 28th, join the Patreon, $5 a month and up, and you'll be entered to win a pair of tickets to see the band Ween at the Greek Theater. Uh, just join the Patreon, follow the instructions. Look over here, Aaron. Show, show Lizzie's camera. Oh. What is this? <laughs> we were all oh. the Lizzie always has her nails painted. Uh, so do that. Join the Patreon if you haven't already. You get the call of the day. You get voice memos with Amanda. You get all kinds of bonus stuff. You get the 90-minute episodes. Yeah. And for $5 a month, less than a cost of a cup of coffee every day, then you can win tickets to see Ween. Just think the, about it. It's uh, one. Cu- that's one cup of coffee a month. Five dollars a month works out to sixteen cents a day. Come on. <clears throat> now we listen. Can do that. I know you guys are all joined uh, streaming services and stuff, especially you're in streaming. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say. But Ween tickets. They're two good tickets. You get them for five bucks. It's not a month. so. It's not only for new members. It's any. It's any patron. Yes. Uh, when I announced it, I got bombarded by existing patrons who, who I were like, don't care about. You guys, I do not we care about you guys. We I want, want some new. I want a for piece real. of strange. What are the What are the voice memos like? Well, it's Few just and me far talking between. into the phone. <clears> but let's get off that topic because it just makes Brendan mad. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he just right. yelled at me, and I would prefer not to have <gasps> I that don't energy. Yell at her. I would prefer I ask her, not to have that I energy. I beg her to just please do it. They're supposed to be once a this week. This is what she, I mean. We're done. We're done. She does. We've already, already moved no, on. We've already moved on. No, listen. Let me explain We've to you. We've already moved on. She talks into her voice. She okay. does a ten. Wait, Aaron. Look at my Aaron. Show my camera. Where she lays in her bed, and just talks into the phone. This is a classic. Conflict between yin and yang happening here between. No, actually, two. it's yin and yang. But go ahead. <laughs> no, it ying? isn't. Yeah, it's yin no, yang. No, it's yin and yang. No, yin yang. It, yin yang twins. Yin. It's yin no, it's yang. Not. So what's what's going on with you? You came in all frazzled. Your hands. Well, looking... you almost started without me, and. Well, that's not your. You're fault. upset. It 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 actually did hurt my feelings. Okay. I have. Time blindness. Oh my God! Amanda has that time blindness. What is that? It's a I've symptom. heard of this. I've heard of this. It's of ADHD. It is, and I, I had to set four <laughs> alarms to get here. <laughs> what I, does that mean, though? What is it? I had to get a special app uh-huh. that reminds you of things. It's like you're living in a fog, a fog of time. It really means nothing to you. Oh, well, that's Brendan would argue that I have that. I, well, no. so like when and you have so, to be even somewhere, though I don't. it just it hurt my feelings. I know you guys, if you, you guys to, are from the comedy store and you don't care about feelings. <laughs> we're we working, just fuck, we I, like to freaking roast. I worked out at the store last night. <laughs> we roasted around my new hour. like midnight last night. Did you know this? And we learned this recently. You know, the door guys at the comedy store. Yeah. You're, they're like the guards at Buckingham Palace. You're allowed to mess with them and stuff. And they, <laughs> they can't, can't do touch anything. you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that happens at Bu- Buckingham Palace? You yeah. know how people mess Those with the guards with the there that are hats. like, and they don't move at all. Like you yeah. can do all kinds of stuff, and they oh, like, in don't front move. of their face, but you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. like diddle, pull their pants yeah. down. You can you try. Can. You can pull their pants down. I pulled diddle. my pants down at a grade school or at a, a uh, what do they call it? Daycare. And they called really? the cops, and I ran away. <laughs> what is in their hats? Uh, a smaller hat. 
Oh. There's like a series of smaller it. hats. It's like Russian. A Russian doll. Like yeah. the show. So what's up your butt now? So now you're upset. You're on your period Wait, you or have time blindness? No, I'm actually, I might be in. You're uh, ovulating? I might be in um, refrigerator perimenopause. What is oh, that? William the Refrigerator William Perry. the Refrigerator Perry Menopause. <laughs> well, he invented that? Do you know what Perry Menopause is? No. It's like it, before. The younger you get your period, the sooner it stops. Uh -oh. And I got mine when I was seven years old. No, you, no, didn't. you did not. I swear to God. You, you guys, did not get your period. They call, no, yourself. my nickname was Bloody Seesaw until I was like 12, and everyone was like, oh, it and is. And then normal. everybody called you Brown Seesaw <laughs> for a different problem. <laughs> The other sides, the other end started leaking. <gasps> Bloody seesaw. Wow, Bloody that's terrible. So, they did not call you that. No, they, uh, yes, they 100%. did. Don't shame her. Don't period shame her. I'm not Thank period shame. I'm just saying that's a crazy thing for kids Sorry, to say. Sorry, Amanda's PMS. My, my no, I'm not. I just finished. My period had time blindness, so it didn't know when to start. Mm, doesn't your know when period to start. had ADHD. That's had probably ADHD. how you got it is from your period. Your period brought it. I had an unusually short period this period. It was actually mm. nice. Oh, nice. Sometimes Sorry, it everyone. seems like it's going to go away, and I'm like, oh, it's done, and then it comes back later that day. But this time it was like oh, only like four days. Yeah, it was really Ooh. short. Normally it's seven. Does it skip a day sometimes and come? It Ooh. skips a day. It sort of, it seems like that, where and at night I go, oh, I don't have to wear underwear, and then I wake up, and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, Can I tell you something? Can I actually say something related to this, but it has to do with Victoria's okay. Secret, where I'm now... Part Are you still the, working there? I'm part of the core team there. Core I'm surprised team. you're not a manager or something. Are you a manager? It's, out, it's getting out of hand. You know what? The only thing stopping me from becoming a manager? Yourself. <laughs> you're holding yourself back. Cash register blindness. Uh, I have no... <laughs> bad at math? I can't do the button. But wait, you I don't can't. need to know how they to do that. They tell you. They tell you what you change to do. You just scan it, right? You just scan the underwear. But the women who come in and they're like, I bought this bra 37 days ago. Yeah. I feel like the stra straps weren't sturdy enough. And then do you say to my... them, you say, listen, ma'am, you're a whale. <laughs> it's not the bra. Just eat a vegetable every now and then. Now get out of here. <laughs> Right, because you got Sabaro all over your face as you're trying to return um, your quadruple extra large thongs. But, Nobody wants to see that. Down That's at what the, you said. Down at the panty bar, <laughs> which is at the very end, five for thirty. We've got five for thirty right now. I did notice something about 30. the the underwear lining. Uh -huh. It will be a dark pair of underwear, but the crotch is white, yeah. like this part that's sewn in. And I was like, that's so people ruin these, because women just go through underwear. We don't. Yeah. To hang on to a to a pair is rare. Amanda's got underwear older than our oldest child. <laughs> That's not true. That's okay, not true. Well, but they're easily just. It's not. It's not hard to destroy them. No. Yeah. Well, especially when you're a size 42 trying to fit into a size 11. <laughs> oh or my goodness gracious! Um, so I mean. was thinking about that. That'd I just was funny... at Victoria's Secret yesterday. I got wait. I got Love Cloud and I got a. She could have got you a discount. I should have gone. I Amanda, just went to the one talking here. about. I went to the one close to me. A time out. Hold but on. But she could have escorted you I in there. I have so many questions. Did you get the push up Love Cloud or the without? Reg without. Wow. I don't like push up because I feel like it. Like, it makes them kind of, I don't know, it's just like, yeah, it fits weird. I like the lightly lined. Wow, denim. okay. That's what I'm wearing right now. I love Gorgeous. the Gorgeous. What color did you get? Black. Here, cut Amanda. away, Brett. Cut away, Erin. It has a gold V in the front. Product knowledge. I love it. This looks beautiful mm -hmm. on you. So nice. 34 Amanda, C. I love this nice. Oh, my God. Do you hear that noise? My left boob is so much bigger than my right boob. Okay. Do you know That is so crazy that you say that. Someone wants set, a guy wants <laughs> To me, your left boob is. I think it's common for the left boob to be a little bit. Closer to I the think heart. it's because. If, yes. Are you right-handed? Are you the right? The bigger the heart, the bigger the left boob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lefty. Oh, I would think that your left oh. boob would be. Wait, like, actually, I don't know which one. I think it you is. You don't know if you're left-handed like or right-handed. Mine's like noticeably where I'm like, oh. Oh. Wow, my left different. penis is bigger than my right penis. <laughs> Can we see? Can we just have a yeah. little bit of girl talk for a little? I haven't hung out with. Do you want to see my penis, Lizzie? I'll show it to you. No, right now. do not show her that. She does not want to see it. Yes, I, you know asked. what I want to see? <clears throat> what? Your penis. <laughs> What's that? What comes out before it? Every all those shit. That it's comes like out of your the uh, like the alien, like the from the movie Alien. It's the little yeah. one that comes out of the mouth. I want to see your pre. Do you want to see my anus? No. I don't know. 
Well, Am- Amanda checks my anus. I used to. I haven't she checked it in a while. <laughs> he used to show it to me and I'd say, okay, it looks good. <laughs> I used to just like bend over and spread my cheeks uh, in front of her when I got out of the show. So that's when we used to have fun and... Yeah, before you know. some before one of us turned unfun. And I'm not so, gonna say who. You guys, that's so romantic. Uh oh, it's the fun police. By the way, I never went on a honeymoon with that guy or anything that I met here. Oh the yeah. Show. Well, did you follow up? Oh my him? god, I forgot you were I'm married. married. I am married now. That was so long ago. I have I underwear older for than for you. So I've, I was... I'm married and I've never been lonelier. <laughs> I, you never, you've literally never met him after he got married. No, I never did. I so. love, um, love, it, love blindness. Love blindness. Is this love a good it. idea for a sketch when we were talking about underwear older than, like, because somebody, I read somewhere, some whatever, that's that phrase where people are like, I have underwear older than you. Yeah, right, whatever. right, right. And I was thinking of, like, you know, like an SNL sketch where a guy's like, I have underwear older than you, and then his wife's like, no, actually, I bought you all new underwear. And then he's like, well, but, you know. <laughs> so, because then now he doesn't have underwear older than whoever he's trying to own. Oh. And he's like, well, now I need to get some old underwear. Hmm. I don't know. Something like <laughs> it's kinda that. It's kind of weird. It's a good sketch idea. You can actually get that online. What? Old underwear. Oh, you yeah. You know what girls can do is sell sell your used underwear. Did you ever sell your used underwear, no. Lizzie? I've been tempted, but I never you have. You know what? I did, look it, I did look it up. I was curious. Um, yeah, but... I mean, it would probably pay for for new underwear if you yeah. sold your old. Well, that's no. What's the point underwear? in doing that then? What do you mean? It then if you, you just get break even. I don't think underwear. anyone wants mine because mine have maxi pads sewn into them. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I thought you were menopausal. I'm peri refrigerator peri menopause. That's before menopause. Um, let's call. Wait, you really got your period at seven? And no, I actually mm. though. Can I tell you? I got it when I was eleven, Ugh. which is very young. Anyway, I got it at. Um, Oh my god! I thought you really did at seven. I was like, "That's crazy." <laughs> I got it the same day. I noticed every other sign of puberty. Like I noticed, like a hair. Mm-hmm. Blood, it just all boob. happened. At it once. all happened in one day. Wow! So you have had big boobs <laughs> when you were younger, then probably. Yeah. You always had. Big I boobs. remember in seventh grade in industrial technology class, this guy coming up to me and was like. All the guys are saying, you got boobs this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I remember the day I realized, wait, I think my, I think this is a, as big as my boobs are going to get. I remember when I realized that. It was kind of a sad. Oh, interesting. Because they say it's not long after you start your period. Like, that's sort of like, your, you know, all that rapid growth starts to slow down. I'm like, hmm, so I guess I'm not going to get double Ds. It was kind of a bummer. The what rapid growth. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hmm, these aren't growing as fast as they were. But Why did I pull I up the a... number to a crystal store? What were we talking about at the beginning? Can I also say, I, I actually do have ADHD. So that that's, I oh am actually God. an advocate. Wait, you have AIDS? <sighs> ADHD. AIDS, ADHD. ADHD. <laughs> AIDS, DHD. Um, yeah, everybody has ADHD. Wait, yeah. what's, so wait, what's time blindness? You just don't. You just lose track of time. You don't. So really if you have, have to be a, somewhere yeah. at seven, you get in the shower at six fifty-five. Mine is more. I'm in a fog, and then I just suddenly snap out of it. Maybe it has. And now, I'm like, I'm supposed to be in my fencing class. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, a lot of people could turn to uh, prescription. You know, the doctors are owned by the pharmaceutical companies, so they overprescribe for things like this. But has anybody ever given you just like a good slap in the face? You know what? I said, get it together already. My friend and I used to beat each other up. My my friend Marianne and I used to go to a bar. We would drink a little bit, and we'd be Mm -hmm. like, "Hit me, hit me!" And we would just slap the shit out of each other. And then one time, she one time threw me into a mirror. Really? <laughs> not, not, nothing bad, ha- but we would just like, not, Getting I don't rough. think she was like, I'm going to throw you in a mirror, but we would, we got rough and it was Why really Why don't you fun. be a um, stunt woman? You probably need stunt women. You know what? Why? You should have started I'll younger, tell you why. But... Morton's toe. <laughs> I have a long second toe and it has prevented me from anything good that could have happened to me in this life. <laughs> it sticks up. It, t- it is touching the edge okay. of my... See, I have, I have a square toe on. Yeah. I have to wear that to make room. It's like it, it needs like a box. Guys are into that. You could get a Morton's toe wiki feet. You went going. and applied to be a stunt woman, and they're like, "Let's see your feet," and they're like, "That's um, no Morton's it, toe." But on you, my here's side. here's where you could. This is uh, why how you can be a successful stunt woman, because you're. 
all the stunt women who are your age now, who've That's been correct. stunt women for 20 years, are they, they can't do it anymore. Out. Yeah, they have to right. tap So out. you're like fresh new blood coming in hot in your late 30s or whatever. Early, mid 30s, early, early 30s. 20s. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like all the there's no there's no 40 year old stunt women walking That's around true. going like yeah throw me down a flight of stairs. Right. Well, but then they just get younger people to do it though. They put on a gray wig. Exactly. Well, but what if they need to show? What if there needs to be knockers in the shot? You know what I need is That's you know true. I had to get a phone and I'm looking up cases and it's like this one is military shock. Yeah. <laughs> like it could get blown what up are by you an talking IED. about? What? It's like I will yeah. survive a drop on my kitchen floor. In the event of a nuclear destruction, <laughs> your iPhone will survive. Survive the shell. Um, Your phone. Let's a call. Military iPhone case. We have a surprise for you. We're gonna. Should call. you have your phone Can out I when you're you, like on the battlefield? There was a guy at the store who I kind of had a little. Cr it was at T-Mobile. This guy came in on a bike. He had kind of a pot belly. He was kind of like leaning on the counter mm. like a frog. And he's like. He worked there or no? He was a customer. Okay. He's something really cute about him though. Because he knew the names of all the operating systems off the top of his head. Oh, wow. He's like, yeah, that was when I had the 15.75. And I was like, wow, I'm so impressed that you know these. He's like, well, I pay attention to this stuff. Like, how do I get so in there? How do I get my phone number? How do I get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was version 612. He was talking to you about this? He was talking to the other representative about it. But I was listening in and throwing a comment in here and there. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> hoping that he'd like, take the bait. I feel like yeah, guys he, like that don't aren't very smooth. They mm, don't. Right. Yeah. You should just it. have a show like a Curb Your Enthusiasm type show where they just follow you around and that's it. I think that honestly Getting is your a Morton's great toe idea. Paint it or whatever, and <laughs> then like going a and reality show. In on some yeah. slob, some I, sweaty guy. I'm not lying. That about is a Android great idea. Operating systems. <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So I've got two kids, right? And sometimes I just can't find the time to focus on myself. I'm so busy taking care of everybody else that I don't have time to care for myself. Therapy is a great way to give you some balance in your life, right? You can take some time for yourself, talk to a therapist, feel better, and in turn be able to take care of everybody else better too. Yeah, I'm a total therapy head. And if you want to find more balance with BetterHelp, visit BetterHelp.com slash world record today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash world record. Now back to our program. How about you don't talk for a while and me and Lizzie can talk Here's about girl what? stuff. Yeah, you already talked about your periods for a half an hour. <laughs> This is the Can I? our <laughs> demographic is young men. They need to learn about this stuff. That's the thing. Our demographic is, is young men on the waiting list to go see a show at the mothership. Destigmatize <laughs> periods. Brendan, yeah. when are we performing it. there again? Lizzie and I are doing. Well, I don't know if we can officially announce it, but Lizzie and I are doing a weekend at the at the mothership at Joe Rogan's mothership in Austin, sometime in June. We'll do an official release. Uh, sometime before then. Yep. So yeah, look at A Train. She's uh. That sounds fun. I want to yeah. go. Maybe you could MC or something. No. He I heard you. Me. I heard you get five thousand dollars. Probably for each MC set. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it pays very well. I'm sure it is like one of the yeah. best places to perform because right. the audience is juiced to the gills, and Joe doesn't need to make any money from the club. You know, right. I mean, I think that as long as like it's like it's, if he can have like a semi profitable clubhouse. How many people? Yeah. OK. To hang out. Like it's like, you know, I'm sure it's it's doing. I mean, it seems like it's sold out through like 2028 or whatever. Right. So, you okay. know, I mean, it's definitely doing well, but I bet he does pay the comedians like twice as much as you get paid anywhere else. Yes, he does. Yeah. I've heard. Which yeah. is great. Every com comedy club should be owned by a comedian, don't you think? Yeah, I mean a lot then of them it would are, just, then but it would they're just... failed comedians oh. with the drinking problem and they're angry at everything. See, it should be the it should be just successful rich comedians because then they're nice. Well, they don't want to. That's yeah. I mean, it's not many people are as wealthy as Joe. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I follow this guy named Robert Croak on Instagram. <laughs> Robert Croak. He's like. 
Look at him being wealthy. Okay, we have to call somebody. I keep trying to say we're going to we call, call someone. Can we call Robert Crow? No, we have him lined up. <laughs> You guys keep okay. talking about bras and Let's stuff. So what? Well, maybe can we? Yeah, guys like this stuff. Aaron, can you call our guest, our real guest? He's such please? a downer. Who's a downer? You. The guy trying to have a but podcast. I'm having fun. I'm having fun Brother, with my friends. I happen to work in the industry. In what industry? In the bra industry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, how much money could you have gotten her off her bra? I could have used one of my fifty percent on you because I didn't. I don't. I don't use. I don't buy anything. One of the girls was like, "You don't buy anything." I'm like. I'm paying. I'm, I have a car payment. Can I say something? <laughs> Can't pay my car payment with a cheeky. Can I say something? <laughs> Can I say something, please? Sure. What? I love it when a girl's bra is fifty percent off. <gasps> Woo! It's showtime! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. They tried to get me to open up a credit card, but they card. do only let me get How one. How we doing on that call, Aaron? <laughs> oh, they okay. That's a move for sure. Did they show you the multi way, the every way? Okay, no, I came was... in, I said, I need a love cloud, I need it in black, and I'm going to try, and I got the body by Victoria. I know what I want there, or else I get sucked okay, into the body. Okay. What's the largest size want. they have there? 38 triple D. Woo! 38. You know what? We need larger. Most of the people, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Americans. I've heard of H. <laughs> Wilderbeasts. You need, no. <laughs> but, Wilderbeasts. But people so. are broad, you know, like not, so it's only really 32 to 38. That's not. I mean, there are people who are, right. Yeah. Are, is but there, they can go online. I'm a 34. I they mean, they can go online. Yeah. Oh, you'd only have 38 in the store. Right. In store. Okay. So, Brendan. Yeah. Where do you buy your jock straps? Jocks are us. <laughs> Do you wear one ever or no? Jock strap? Yeah, that's all I wear. Is that what you put on your yeah. at Christmas? You hang a jock strap? I get mainly jock straps for Christmas. I buy you one for your birthday or one or two for your birthday. Yeah. It's the only thing I get them. Yeah. When was the last time you seriously wore one? Are you wearing, one, never, right Are you wearing I, one right now? I wearing one I don't think I ever wore just a jock strap. I wore the kind that a cup fits in. Mm. So no dice on the call, Aaron? Oh, I was just gonna tap tap in that uh that I've I've worn a cup in the last four months. Like a solo cup? No. A jock strap and a cup. <laughs> I mean, is my mic on? Is anybody okay, hear me? Okay, what do you want to do, <laughs> so, Aaron? Can you please call our guest? There, you want me to do that? What is the difference? What between the cup and the? You're talking like a cup you can is just a protective a cup thing. On there? No, they come jock straps. Come, they have a little pouch that you can slip this hard plastic uh, protector in. Oh. So if you get hit in the nuts. Yeah. But it you know what? Good. Nobody mm. on the professional mm. level wears them. I mean, MMA catchers guys do. do. Well, catchers, yeah. yeah. But like uh, football to, guys and stuff. I need to get rid of these. Look how pretty I look. All right, I'm definitely Just kidding. Kidding. You are very okay, pretty. I'm totally kidding. Go Wait, like this. Make them curtain. You Make them curtain. Can I tell you something? Hello? Hey, Matt. Hello? Matt, can you hear us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Hi, Matt. World record! Wait. Bum, bum. Is this Matt LeBlanc? Yeah. <sighs> World Wait, record! I've... We're doing a friend's reunion. Ladies and gentlemen, today. it's uh, Matt. <laughs> Matt LeBlanc. Matt Farley! Yeah, that's right. I wrote that song. Now, Matt, I don't want to disrespect you, but the A Train changed the lyrics uh, to say instead of world record, she changed it to Black and Decker Pecker Wrecker. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what that means? I'm I'm, try I'm trying to piece it together. I have ideas, but I'm going to keep them to myself. It's when a girl has braces. Yeah, it's when a girl has braces. Matt, are you driving not, right now? Not. Am I what? Are you driving right now? No, no, no. Uh, I'm at the the playground with my kids. They're playing tennis. Tennis, huh? You're very you're very athletic. You guys are you're in good shape, Matt Farley. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that great? Yes. Um, it was just like a week and a half ago. Best day of my life. We he came and and he and Brendan played a, a three minute basketball game. Four. Oh, so it was yeah. like Four. a guys episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that yeah. was just in person. That wasn't even on. Did the you podcast. wear a strap for that one? No, I. <laughs> I've never worn just a jock strap. Matt, have you ever worn a jock strap, just a jock strap without a cup in it? I haven't worn one 
with in in any way. It always, I don't know. It just felt weird. Beth, do you have any songs about Lizzie? Not yet. Are you kidding me? Oh my! Well, I, I mean, I probably have the Lizzie Poop song. No, no, no. Lizzie Cooperman specific yeah. songs. That's a travesty right there. Okay. Wow. Well, Can let's I, okay. let's go down the list of uh, com- name a comedian, Lizzie. Lizzie Cooperman. No, beside you. Um, Sebastian Maniscalco. Do you have a song about Sebastian Maniscalco? Probably not. Probably not. I'm a little out of date on comedians too. It's been oh, a yeah. few years. Okay. I don't have the latest crop. Okay. Um, well, come meet us uh, down at the store sometime, and you'll we'll introduce you to some folks. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I'm up in Boston, um, but I flew all the way to L.A. just to play Brendan in basketball last week. It was yeah. amazing. We only played for three minutes. For some reason, he put a three-minute timer on it. Four. four. It was four. It was four minutes. Oh, my. Okay. You're listening. He flew in. What's your, be- what's your biggest move that you do on the court? Slam dunks. <laughs> <laughs> I dunked so, on that. So I come all the way from Boston to play this game. And, and Brendan says, if I text you uh, at 7 a.m. the next morning, then I'll play. If you don't hear from me, then forget it. And I'm like, oh, great. I've flown all the way for, for nothing. Wait, if this that's kind of hot, though. That's kind of seductive in a way. Me? Yeah. And lo, and, <laughs> lo, lo and behold, no text from Brendan by 7 a.m. And you know what I, I do? I go to the park anyway. And, oh, I get to the park, and it's closed. It doesn't open until 9 a.m. He... He picked the park because it's his neighborhood, and he picked one that was locked until 9 a.m. Well, I don't, you know, listen, I've never been there when it was closed. And I told you also that, yeah, let me see, because we it was a Saturday morning. Oh, yeah, and and you'd have to roll out of bed and drive a mile versus me playing. Listen, I I was doing comedy shows the night before. I happened to have been locked out of my house that night um, because I didn't bring my keys. And uh, so it was kind of late by the time I went to bed. And, uh, yeah, I, I didn't uh, afterward, wake up. Afterward at brunch, did you slip him your jock strap under the table? <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't. Uh, but he we did play. I did play. show up. And, um, so then he shows, up, he shows up four minutes before I have to leave and fly home. And so that's why the game is only four minutes long. He's got his toddler roaming through the court as we're playing. So I can't, you know, I can't go 100% because I don't want to hurt the kid. <laughs> Well, also, but you see, he said he had to leave four minutes. He had four minutes, but then he hung out for like 30 minutes just shooting that's, the breeze after the game. The NBA. Puts, that is not true. Oh, NBA, rated 20, 28 minutes. NBA puts toddlers on the court now. That would be it's cute. An, it's an added, yeah, um, it's an obstacle. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have to kind of get around them. So I, I don't know. That's kind of, to me, an excuse for soft technique. But <laughs> They do that in Eastern Europe. That's where a lot of uh, trafficked children go. To, to basketball courts? Yeah, they roam them around on basketball courts. <laughs> I love yeah, I that. Definitely yeah. felt, I definitely felt like a weirdo, I'll tell you that much, <laughs> sitting around waiting for Brendan for uh, so you two woke hours up at by six, the playground. You woke up, got dressed, took a shot at 6 a.m. and just waited for Brendan to text yeah, you? Yeah, he's crazy, I told you. Yes. <laughs> that does happen. I'm just saying it does happen in Fifty Shades of Grey. What, that does? <laughs> she says something like, if I'm laying down on your piano at 8 p.m., come and get it or something like what? that. Matt, have made, you ever seen I'm, Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> I've seen the movies. No. That's from the book, probably. They send that type of message that you would send. Well, Matt's yeah, on. Like, Matt has something to promote. Maybe if I'm up. Right. Oh. Matt has something to um, promote. Yeah. May 20th is the extravaganza. It's at a secret location north of Boston. You'll find out the location when you buy the ticket at moturnmedia.com. I'm premiering two feature-length movies, folks. Two brand-new movies, followed by a five-and-a-half-hour concert. Oh, my God. Be there or be square. Matt, I would go, but I, mean, I nobody... have a big taping on May 19th, or I'd be there. She has a taping. Well, look, Lizzie, uh, May 19th is not the 20th. That's, That's all true. I'm saying here. Okay, I'm not yeah. kicking the 20th out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> So, so um, take a take a red eye after the show, right? And how much? So, just to be clear, how much do you pay people to come uh, do this? Tickets are twenty five dollars. You want to know? So how you many pay I people twenty five dollars an hour to come to your eleven hour uh, ego <laughs> ego boost uh, <laughs> event. 
uh, oh, and the next morning after the show, I go to the beach. And anyone who wants to hang out with me can come. I tell them where to meet me at Hampton Beach in New Hampshire. Can they bury you no, in the sand? <laughs> can, can they bury can me? They dig a, yeah, can they dig a dead 10 foot hole and then bury you in the sand? No, but I mean, that would be good for, that would help increase my uh, legacy. Publicity. You know? Matt's written 23,000 songs, Lizzie. Whoa, 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 whoa. 24. 24. 24. Well, 24. how are we defining song? I a mean, full song. Yeah, full song. Lizzie, give me a taste. Lizzie, have some faith. Give oh, me a God. sample, at least. He's Just at the park. Well, here, I'll play a riff, song. Matt, riff on play, my beauty. Poop, play riff on poop my into beauty. a wormhole. <sighs> poop into a wormhole. Where'd you get the idea for that? That's a really good idea for a song. Got it from you. Do you yeah. guys want to play here now? I'll hold the rackets. Excuse me. You find in the song? Yep. Here we go. Okay. Actually. Poop into a wormhole. So he has about 20, 23,999 more songs like that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm not wasting Thank you. my life. Thank you for sharing your canon of work with us. Wait, here's one for you. Lizzie, 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 boop, 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 Lizzie, Lizzie. This could be your walk-on music. I'm a little stopped up. <laughs> yeah, he's telling you to poop. Yeah, that is good walk-on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. Now, what's the difference between the I-E, Lizzie spelled I-E, and Lizzie spelled... Well, here, we'll find out. Elton John, and it's like t- my tiny dancer. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I just want to point out, yes, it's true, folks. I did two completely n- different songs for th- two different songs of Lizzie. I mean, that's thorough. Yeah. Hey, nobody's nobody's arguing how thorough you are. How many people are going to be in <laughs> attendance at this? Ev- ego? How many tickets have you sold so far? Fifty five zero. Fifty. That's, that's right, pretty folks. good numbers. That's not bad. Uh, that's the most I've ever sold. This is the seventh year that I've done this event, and it's uh, the best-selling one yet. We got people coming from the UK, people coming from the West Coast. It's gonna be wild. That's great. That's when, fun. When wow. is it? May what? May twentieth. Yeah, uh, at a secret location. It's at a hotel function room that I rented out, and it's just gonna be. It's gonna be great. You know, Are you I'm sure pumped. It wasn't bought out by a TikTok activist group. Oh, what if it was bought out? What if the tickets were bought out by a TikTok activist <laughs> group? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um, yeah, bring it on. What if a guy comes and throws paint on on the movie screen to, because of oil? Because of oil? Yeah, isn't that what those nitwits are doing? They go oh, and throw oh, paint on the like, Mona Lisa. Doing, and, like, but with those pictures, they're always covered in glass. So it's total, it's oh. all theater. <clears throat> well, one guy just did it too. There was like a pool tournament, a pool, a billiards tournament. And a guy like ran up and poured orange. On, it, on the balls? All, all over the table in balls, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> was this a big, was this a big For tournament? Or That's why I mean, like, you ball. know, as big as they, I mean, no, it was televised. I think it was in the UK too. So it was probably bigger than it would be. 
you know. Can I say something? I'm surprised we don't have jock straps or any kind of shell protection. Women? Yeah. Is there a female cup? Because what comes out no. of us is the divine sacred. What? Life. Life. But okay. I guess it's not worth uh, protecting. Yeah. It's more worth protecting a sensitive balls skin. Well, no, I mean, no one's stopping, <laughs> no one's stopping you from making one, yeah? You could make one. <gasps> the female I cup. bet there's something. For you really like women you know play fuck or uh, sorry I didn't mean to swear. Uh, women play what's that lacrosse with those sticks? Get hit in the. Uh, Sometimes they go up in the. It they go up in your hole. Men in mm -hmm. a way are carrying a purse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lizzie's running her new hour here on this show. <laughs> Good stuff. Good so, stuff. That's yeah, actually Lizzie, yeah, my Lizzie going. and Melissa are our, my favorite um, guests. Lizzie and Melissa. Oh, I love Melissa. Yeah, Do you want to get lunch after the show? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, just it. you and me, though. Um, That's fine. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> no, Amanda, listen. I don't want to go. Guys, hold on. You have to. By the way, me and Brendan are doing a show. Amanda, A-Train. Oh, yeah, when? Next weekend? A-Train. What? No. I know we've Whatever you're like, been together say, no. for a while, and we have two kids, and... I just every morning I wake up and you're a ray of sunshine oh, yeah. to me and uh -huh. I just look at my beautiful children and I look at the sun dancing across your beautiful Shut face. Up. You're asleep and until I think noon to myself, anyway. I think to myself, I wow, how what how did I deserve this? See it would be nice That's if my someone human. genuinely go, felt that way. My person. I, my person. My person. And so uh A Train <laughs> No Will you marry me? <laughs> no. She said yes! <laughs> what if you tricked someone into like, like even though they say no, like you still plan a wedding and they're like, oh, meet me for dinner. And then they come in and everyone's like, yeah, they're going to get married. Like, then you have to do it. A trick oh wedding. God. Trick wedding. That's, that's, how Matt, that's how Matt married his wife, I think. Mm -hmm. You tricked her. Yeah. <laughs> look up uh, Look up Amanda, Will You Marry Me? I think I have a song by that title. Okay. This is so depressing. I want to get married so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'll, I'll marry any. Li I'll marry the first listener who says they want to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, just just like, like I got people excited. Just just Amanda, will you marry me? Please, please, Amanda, will you marry me? I will be the happiest guy you'll ever see <laughs> if you'll agree to marry. Yeah. Hell no. Put your dad no. told him it's my ambition to marry. All right. Well, she's not good. So then we're breaking up then. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to continue with oh, this charade. Oh, so that's the ultimatum. Yeah. You guys should go on that show, The Ultimatum. <laughs> Is that a real show? <laughs> yes. It's crazy. Wait, honestly, look up where the uh, the auditions, because you guys would be so good on that This show. is what I've heard. You audition for Netflix. You, uh, you do one audition for any show, so they can place you on any of their reality shows Ugh. so like the circle the <laughs> hot to handle or something but isn't it like and no offense to either one of us but aren't they all like just hot like and young. hot like yeah you know idiots? what the circle is a just a boob drawing competition <laughs> <laughs> who can draw the most perfect circular boob matt have you ever drawn a pair of boobs no that's inappropriate no but have you ever done that though just yes or no no you've no never way. drawn a pair of boobs i don't <gasps> believe that Matt, do you have a no boob way. light in your house? Do I have a what? A boob light in your house. I don't know what that is. <laughs> do you guys know what a boob light is? I mean, like the is a... It's like the sconce that yeah. looks like a boob. I was up all night. How do I get rid of this? Uh, Search surgery. I'm getting rid of my... I want to take that. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about When's the last time you had a... When's the last time... When's the last time you had an impure thought, Matt? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna go down this road. I, you know, I'm a classy guy, and I'm not gonna let you drag me down. Matt ate a cheeseburger or a hamburger on his 40th birthday for the first time in his life. What? <laughs> right? Is yeah. that it? I, it's true, and I didn't like it. Yeah. Is that why you don't eat red meat? No, I eat red meat. I like I like a prime rib, but you know, I just never thought I would like burgers, and then uh, people would pressure me to eat them, and that made me want to eat them even less. And so then I just uh, decided to get people off my back. I said, I'll, I'll eat one when I turn 40. And so then that happened, and I tried it. 
I didn't like it. And well, now I'm, I'm where back did you to go? Not high cholesterol. Where did you go? Where did you get the burger from? F- five Guys. No. I did it at... I did it at one of my extravaganzas. I did it on stage. People went nuts. They loved it. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, see, he's crazy. I mean, it's he's a crazy. You are guy. crazy. Yeah, he is I crazy. didn't think you were crazy, but now it's <laughs> now it's making sense. Um, so let's let's get back to Matt's here to promote this, and we'll have you on again if you want um, to promote your your extravaganza. Um, two man. movies. Which... And I just want to say the game the game ended up in a tie. It was two two when the buzzer went off. It was. Very intense. Amanda was, was I like thought biting Brendan her nails. Won. I thought Can he we... won. Oh. <clears throat> what? I, I want to get some five guys on the phone and ask what that's all about. What that's like. Live in a, is that an ethically non monogamous okay. sure. situation? Um, so, what are the movies you're premiering, Matt? Uh, one of them is called Boston Johnny, yeah. and the other one, I'm not telling the title until it premieres. It's a sequel to one of our previous movies. Oh, oh, that's man. fun. You do a lot of yeah. cool stuff. We're very proud of you here at Cooperman Tires. <laughs> I'd like to send you some tires, commemorative tires. What's your favorite flavor of tire? Um, uh, winter. <clears throat> we'll send you Dingleberry. Okay. <laughs> purple Blast Dingle, Purple Dingleberry Blast. Do you have the the juice filled tires like the with the like a gusher? The gushers, yeah. Yeah, and my uncle just invented a straw that you can stick in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can suck the juice out of your tire, but then oh, yeah. you, then what do you fill it with? Though? You have to take it in to get it refilled with more juice. Um, we've got we've got an infiltration system mm. going that basically now we put a, a snow cone machine in the trunk and we let the ice kind of melt down, okay. and that all goes into the tires and it just keeps kind of recircling. Yeah. That's sort of fascinating. <laughs> yeah, it's been really fruitful. Uh, fruitful, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> well, Matt, uh, thanks for thanks okay. for letting us call you. I'm sorry uh, for all the disrespect that you had to put up with. No, it's cool. I appreciate it. You're all wonderful people. And listeners, if you want to chat with me more, my cell phone number is 603-644-0048. By the way, Matt, if I text you tomorrow at 7 a.m., look out your window. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll, I got a basketball ready to go. <laughs> okay. So you weren't nuts about the Five Guys burger. I've never had one. Yeah, it's my only burger, and uh, eh, you know, I don't know. There's just uh, something about um, ground meat, I guess, that it's doesn't appeal to me. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many. It takes five yeah, guys to make one. Straight to the source. Yeah. Burger. Yeah. You, you didn't have cheese on it. No, and that that's been he's controversial. Crazy. A lot of he's people. He's crazy. Say. Why wouldn't you have cheese? Because he's that's nuts. The whole he's crazy. Point. He's a con- he's a contrarian <laughs> to all that is like normal. <laughs> Name a normal behavior. There's some- How do you have I'm a burger for the? You got to put cheese on there. <laughs> Matt, do you have? Time when I'm fifty, five? when I'm fifty, I'll do that. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When you're fifty, have a cheeseburger. Yeah. See. See. Not not from Five Guys though. Like a good one. Well, here, let's call five guys and let them yeah, know that Matt call. doesn't I, like his I'd burgers. Like to, yeah. right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I, I don't like, I get nervous of doing the phone calls. So I'm going okay. to hang up and let you okay. guys do that. Bye, we love you. All right, bye, bye Matt. love you, Matt. Bye-bye. We love you. Say it back. Please hold. Oh, uh, hurry up. Hello? Hello? I said please <laughs> Is hold. Is he like Catholic or something? I think he's just. Wait, this is popping off at 1214. I guess it is oh, new to the corporate yeah. world. It is lunch time. For those hot guys who wake up at 8 a.m., pour a hot cup of coffee. Yeah, mm. shady. Gotta get my man fed at noon. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are dying to get married, aren't you? You would like be like, you know what? Making them. <laughs> Should we do a win a date with Lizzie contest? <clears throat> I, I don't mean, know. We could if that's really safe. vet them. Maybe. We could really vet Hello? Them. When you say vet, hey. I'm turned on. <laughs> you want to date a vet? Hey, is this. Yes. Well, I have some good news and some bad news. My buddy Matt uh-huh. had a f- burger, first burger he ever had when he was 40. He said he didn't like it. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. Liz Cooperman, heiress to Cooperman Tires, is on the phone, and she is down to marry one of the five guys, and you're one of them. So go ahead and here's Liz. Hi, I'd like to hear what... Um, how would you, I have a heart condition. How would you surprise me in bed without killing me? Uh, 
Vicky hung up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the business got started for real? How? They were do you know what a circle jerk is? Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. they on a bur they did it on a burger. They did it on a burger. Last so, one to eat it. Last one to come has to, to eat it. Blow. Last one to shoot has to eat the burger. Did you ever do that for real? Yeah. We used to do it in high school all the time. But we would use a cookie or a cracker. <gasps> or a waffle, I thought. A cracker. Or a waffle, soggy yeah, waffle. A soggy waffle, yeah. Yeah, me <laughs> cracker one Ritz cracker. Me and like it could be like two to two to like five guys. Actually, I don't think we ever had more than five. <laughs> and we'd all stand around a, some kind of circular food mm. item, and jack off, and then whoever blasted last had to eat the. Do you food know that item. that's more kosher technically than a hamburger? For the full uncut episode, head to Patreon.com/slash/WorldRecordPodcast. World For the full uncut episode. Head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast.